Happy Saturday, everyone. Even though our Ziggy doesn't look that happy, obviously T Ziggy is very timid. The sedation has worn off. And we just want to do our gender reveal and do an update. Ziggy looks completely different. She only, you know, she freezes up when we come in here. Um, she wasn't feeling too well yesterday, so that's why we didn't do the reveal. <laughs> Um, there is a news story Channel 26 is doing, and they did one last night. We're waiting for the link for all of our followers worldwide, and then we will be doing the update. That They will be doing our update today, and then we're going to be doing her full video with this update attached and showing her sedation and groom. Oh, yep, I gave it away. Ziggy's a girl. Ziggy. Look, look. She's so scared, poor thing. She doesn't want me to get too close. She doesn't really know what a toy is. Look at What is that? What is that? She's too scared. But we have some wonderful news. We have an interested foster to permanently adopt Ziggy. And they went through the, the exact same thing with their male dog. Didn't know the gender, you know, abuse, PTSD, have the patience and love, and they're willing to... They want to adopt her. So... It's all thanks to the news story on Channel 26. So thank you, Sheldon, for reaching out again and watch for our update. Um, she does like the meatballs, but she, of course, won't eat it until I leave it. She's so pretty. Maybe what do you guys think on the breed? A Schnauzer mix? Schnauzer Cocker? My um, co-worker was kind of thinking, and I think she looks like she could be that mix. But I'm not too familiar with the fluffy breeds. Um, but it looks like the schnauzer markings. She had that schnauzer cut. I'm sure she looked like a schnauzer. Oh, look. She loves the meatballs. She's got her appetite back today after getting that sedation yesterday. Yeah, she really just didn't like that. Um, when hubby went to get her, he had to go to the back to get her. It was the, to get her. That was the first time she growled because, you know, a lot was going on. She was scared. She didn't know what was going on. <laughs> and then he brought her by work. For me to see her and she looked totally different she looks like bob i swear ziggy marley and bob marley and thank you everyone for your support and your donations and your concerns um she has a long road to recovery but i am so super excited that we have a home that is interested in the foster to adopt that's going to end up keeping her and putting in that love because the fosters you are the ones that help us save these lives you know, it changes their lives, it rehabilitates them, they get that one-on-one -on -one with less dogs. We have a lot more dogs than most people. Um, we, we usually keep the misfits. You want another meatball? Will you eat out of my hand or is that too soon? Is that too soon? Is that too soon? Too soon, huh? Too soon. She's like, duh. So if you continue to donate, everything's going to continue going to her care. Like when she's ready to get her spay and, you know, all of her vaccinations, we want to make sure she's healthy. I'm going to start her on a dewormer because I noticed some mucus and we set the camera on her last night to see if it was vomit or diarrhea. Um, and nothing has come since. She's just been trying to get comfortable. She's cold now without all that mad at first so just stay tuned for that video it's going to show from the beginning to now so it's going to show the before and after and the clips of her videos um how smart she is trying to get the bait and trying to just circling the trap and not actually completely going in putting her three paws i'm not gonna give you too much but this is one more okay so thank you again everyone